Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. What's good, YouTube, man? Hey, we finna have a discussion real quick because Yahweh wanted me to talk about something, man. It's real serious. And this is why I'm gonna make this brief because my phone is actually finna die. And I'm literally trying to escape away from spirits every time I press record and do a message, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Satan literally be trying to take me out because he know my messages be on point. And then I gotta watch out as I record because my voice getting, you know what I'm saying? My voice getting famous. So I gotta be careful. But uh, for the one third, man, it's a serious message. And right when I stop, I'm gonna upload this. As you can see, I'm always active with my work, y'all. That's what makes me original. I'm active with my work. And I really take this stuff serious, yo. This is do or die. And uh, I gotta do this or I literally die. <laughs> So uh, for the one third, for the serious souls who really want to get blessed and get closer to the most high, this for y'all, man. For you clowns, you churchgoers, you guys who's going to these Israelite camps, y'all already know y'all gonna y'all not gonna get no results. If you have a lack of faith, you ain't getting no results. Um, but Yahweh wanted me to address a serious matter that's on his people that really want to get blessed by him, man. And you've been waiting for many, many years. Just somebody out there, man, you're going to feel this immediately. Because you've been waiting for many, many years for the Lord to bless you. You've been waiting for a long time for the Most High to, to really answer you. When you're feeling like, you know what I'm saying, you're getting older and older, you know. And even me coming up in this game, I feel like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. Uh, Satan has done many attacks on me in this game, y'all. And like I said, you know, the key with me is I'm dead serious about what I do. What I say when I talk about the most high Yahweh is exactly what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he's waiting on the people to realize and get ready in their spirit. Like, what are you willing to do for him? Let go for him. I tell you that in all my messages. But to get closer there's somebody out there, you've been waiting for something for a long time from the Most High. And he have not gave you a real inclination or a real direction yet. And you've been looking through other sources, through cursed people, trying to get confirmation through them via be a cursed family member, via it be, you know what I'm saying, somebody who is, you know what I'm saying, close to you. You know, uh, it could be a pastor. It could be a close family member. It could be somebody that uh, that speaks what you want to hear in that aspect. And excuse me if y'all hear cars, y'all. Satan trying to distract me because I got to make this quick and I'm uploading this right ASAP. And, uh, you know, when it comes down to the most high answering you, you know, like I was saying, he's not answering many folks on the level as to whereas you even feel like he's inclining his ear to you. So you are going, reaching out to friends, family, churches, you know what I'm saying, to get confirmation on the things that you believe in. You see what I'm saying? Millions of people are doing this who say they love the most high, man. People are saying they love the most high, Jesus, whatever you, whoever you choose to identify him as, you will never even be led to the real version of him if you are walking with these demons on you of church and religion and wanting to hear smooth words. He gave you all the instructions that you needed to go forward with him and many of you all are stuck at this level and what you're doing is like i was saying earlier you know you are trying to be around people who fits the vision of what you want in life you know what i'm saying and i told you until you pass these steps and get these demons that then came on you off church and religion i say it all the time you're not going to even Get, get you know get a connection as to whereas you're uncursed because what the church did y'all many people millions of people they still under this curse but many one third you you still under this curse of church whether you refuse to believe it or not you know what i'm saying you can call yahshua yahweh and all you know not yahweh because y'all not saying his real name due to the demons so you can say yeshua you can say yahweh shy and all these other names all you want you know, even if you say those names and try to switch to the Hebrew versions of him, he's still not going to talk to you. That's just some information you learned from somebody else. When it comes down to a one on one connection with him, you have to break the curses of these churches, the curses of these Hebrew camps. You see, they wearing six point stars on their robes. 
you got to break these curses. You see what I'm saying? And once you break those curses, you have to live a line in reality. All these things that I just mentioned, they put a sense of an illusion that you're living. You're living a lie when you're living through church. You're living a lie when you're living through another person's vision that's similar to yours. Or you, you are reaching out to find people to agree with your with what you're reaching out for. which is And Yahweh is not in those people, using those people. Those are the cursed people. And this is what Yahweh wanted me to let the one third know, man. Anybody who's dealing with this situation that... The Holy Spirit is leading out of my mouth as I walk through this alley with no fear. You know, if you are going through these things I just mentioned, or if you are living like this and doing this, and you've been waiting for years to get a blessing, this is why he ain't do it. You know, because that's the main thing I just mentioned in the first half. And another thing is the reason why y'all not getting blessed by the Most High. A lot of you people in these houses, a lot of you people who say you love the Lord, you are living an illusion, the illusions that I just mentioned of church, religion, and all this stuff. Once you break free of that, you ain't broke free of that yet. And that's been God in your life. But you know what else been happening? A lot of people got somebody in your close family, somebody a relative to you, somebody you love, is literally praying to the devil. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people, you Yahweh wanted me to tell you, this is why I, I jumped up to leave out the house and I'm walking through an alley right now y'all you know what I'm saying and the reason being is because I have to run out my phone finna die and I gotta run go hurry up upload this however long the Lord lead it out of me but this is the main part that Yahweh wanted me to get out a lot of you all are living with people that you didn't let go of you didn't obey the scriptures of the Lord and in that relationship sister that brother gonna be the killer of you you, you, you say you one third and all this stuff and you want to be close to the most high, but you are with a dude who's a deadbeat, who has a history of doing demonic things. He got a history of clicking out. He can click out on you and the family. He didn't beat your ass plenty of times. You're going to stay with him. This is the type of stuff I'm talking about. But what Yahweh wanted me to let you know, since y'all ain't been obeying and staying with these type of folks, women ain't been letting go of these grown sons. You know what I'm saying? And this is a lot of reasons. You know what I'm saying? Why they, you know, a lot of you all, y'all in the trap right now. This is what y'all want them to let you. Somebody in your house, you know, and Kanye West set the perfect blueprint. Kanye West set the, perf uh, set the perfect blueprint. And I can talk about this till my lips turn crusty. Kanye West killed his own mother for success. But what it was is she was babying him. You see, she was a wicked two third woman anyway. But when it comes down to the one third woman, you doing the same thing. This is why you see these grown dudes in these houses, man. They grown as fuck and they look at you as their guy. And you know what happens? A lot of these brothers are doing what Kanye did in his, in his mama house. They praying to demons under your roof. And this is why you're not rising. I don't know who this is for, but this is for somebody, man. It's somebody out there, man. You've been trying to reach out to the Lord and somebody you around. Like I said, you women in these relationships, even you brothers, that woman is going to be your Delilah. That woman going to be your, your downfall because Yahweh telling you to get rid of her. Likewise with the women, Yahweh is telling you to get rid of this deadbeat brother who has no plans of the Lord in his heart. He, he, he a demon. And likewise with the mothers, they got these grown sons. You know, the women you getting set up, brothers, you getting set up. A lot of women are getting killed by these guys because you ain't obeying the scripture, man. A lot of you all in the setup with these type of guys. But the main thing y'all want them to let you know for these mothers who hold on to these extra grown people via be man or a woman. Somebody somewhere out there right now is going. You don't notice this happening in your house. You don't check your house. You comfortable with the most high. You got a sense of righteousness, righteousness on you. You don't know what's really going on in your house. You got a demon of too much demons on you. Somebody praying against you in the house. Somebody is praying against you in your house, man. Somebody praying against you in your house, man. And somebody praying to the devil in your house, man. For somebody out there who's got all these people in your house, man. And you ain't obeying nothing due to this spirit of loneliness and demons on you, man, for a lady. You know what I'm saying? Somebody close to you, dear to you, is praying to demons, waiting on you to die. You know what I'm saying? Kanye West actually killed his mama. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of you all got a secret Kanye West in your house due to you ain't, you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't following the most high, man. And you can't, and this is how you fall into depression, man. 
because you've been waiting for a long time. And that's that one niche y'all always want you to fix. Stop babysitting your oldest sons. This, this, a lot of people, your oldest son is in your house plotting. And a lot of you all got several oldest sons. And they've done a lot of wicked stuff in your house now and you don't know about it. These sons you got around baby and, and these daughters, these grown folks, they done done a lot of wicked stuff in one third house y'all have no idea of. And they plotting and doing voodoo as well. So this your boy Soldier checking out. If you want the most high in your life, this is what I'm saying. You got to fight in your day-to-day -day life, man. You know what I'm saying? And somebody out there, you you got a fake form of righteousness. You got these curses on you from church and stuff. Plus, somebody is doing what I mentioned. They praying the demons under your roof against you. And they don't care about nobody but themselves deeply really and inwardly. They'll never show you to your face, though. Because this is the ultimate demon you never got rid of. And you will never see the future ladies of these dudes killing you and all this stuff unless you let these, you gotta let these bum niggas go too, ladies. But these house niggas, a lot of these house niggas are Kanye West, man. So uh, all of y'all can get something out of this, man. This is for the one third, man, the spiritual ones. All of y'all can get something out of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Take the Lord serious for y'all lives, man. The Lord wants to keep us out of traps. This is why we must obey him so we can stay out of these traps of the devil, man. When you obey, take the message serious and you obey, that's when Yahweh will protect you and bless you, man, when you obey. If you don't obey by faith, not by somebody telling you to do it or somebody encouraging your fake dream, once he tell you to do something, you do it by faith, that's the key. So this is your boy Soldier checking out, man, for somebody notice I'm out here, man. For somebody notice I'm out here. I love y'all, man. Stay tuned, man. Um, it's a short little quick clip but it's powerful you know what i'm saying and i gotta go man i got traffic staring at a nigga you know what i'm saying and like i said man as i get older i'm getting wiser in this game man and this wisdom right here i just gave for the one third men women whoever going through situations you know uh a lot of things can get fixed by you obeying what he's telling you to do your greatest demons be right next to you your greatest demons in your life be your family crazy man this is why Yahweh always had me you know you know you know just solo you know so I can beat these things to help y'all man it's your boy soldier checking out I love y'all man stay tuned one